you're doing well. Good to see you again. I know I didn't post any videos last week, but I was taking a technology break. No YouTube, no Instagram, nothing. I just needed to kind of back away from it for a bit because it was getting a little overwhelming. So that's where it was. Um, so today we're going to be focusing on attitude pirouettes like you all have requested. Um, I hope these tips and tricks will help you. Again, this, these ideas that I have for you are both for flat shoes and point shoes. Can't really do point shoes in here. Um, so I hope they help you. Also, I will be from now on in the box below listing what I'm wearing. You've all been asking me what leotard it is, what brand it is, etc, etc. So in the box below, all videos I will be listing either what clothes I have on or leotards, etc. So you all can go and purchase if you like. So for attitude pirouettes, the first and foremost, most important thing, whether you're doing them from fourth, whether you're stepping into the releve, is that you have to be over the front leg. If you are back, right, it's kind of like any pirouette. If we're back here, it's a lot to do to get up on our leg, right? If we're here and then we go back and it's just not pretty. So you really want to think, okay, I'm over my front leg and all you're going to do then is all you have to do is go up. You don't have to worry about, you know, being, <laughs> being back. So right on top of your leg, Abs are in. Even some people think they're on top of their leg, but actually their ribs are out. So even if you're forward, you want to think somebody's punching you in the stomach and you're set up to go. Now, the other thing in pirouettes, I've been thinking about this. Since we've been talking about pirouettes, my students online have been wondering about pirouettes. I've, I've told you all, you've all heard me say before, bring the opposite side around, which is definitely true for attitude. You have to bring it with you. But that's actually throwing some of you off. Some of you are thinking that so much that it's coming around and it's throwing you off and it's whipping around. So instead, if that process is throwing you off, think of if you're turning to the right, right shoulder back. So instead of thinking, think back. And maybe that will help some of you. Even if it's an on or think shoulder back rather than around, just as a mindset. So we're in fourth, stomach forward, and like we talked about last week, I believe it was, here what's with fifth, some people don't realize they're not going up. They kind of stay and they don't go anywhere, right? You have to lift the chest and the body up, and that way you can get around. Even if it's an on or attitude, like in Black Swan, she does pirouette, sort of a fouette attitude. Some people are fine in a pirouette, and then they go, right? I'm exaggerating, but you have to keep the chest up to go around, right? Lift up and around. So we're forward, we're going up. We're thinking of either pulling that shoulder around or pulling the same shoulder back, and we're lifting the chest and we're going up. Now, attitude's also tricky because unlike pirouettes, where you're kind of, even when the leg's up, you're in a solid line, attitude, your leg is extended. Most people don't fall backwards. They usually fall sideways. It's very, very hard to fall towards the leg. So you almost want to think of your balance being in between your legs and not being so far forward that you tip. So almost think of turning, taking the body towards the back leg a little bit, rather than too far forward. Because also, you want to stay straight up and down. So I'm going to think I'm turning to the right, think of taking my body to my back leg. And it works, rather than being out. Again, exaggerating, but the balance, scientifically, has to be in the middle. Not too far forward, not too far back, right? So almost think of taking the body to the back leg and you're going around. The other thing that helps you, if the arms are going up, is this second arm, think of the hand flicking, almost, right? Because if it's late, somewhere out here, right? Almost think of this arm getting to spin, and then you go around, see? Rather than it get it going somewhere, right? This second arm will help you, even if you step into it, right? Step into it, 
is this arm. So just to recap, being forward, over the standing leg, either bring that shoulder around or the other shoulder, think of it going back. Chest stays open and lifted, going up. And you want your balance to be sort of towards the back leg. And I hesitate saying that because we don't want to be arched. But you want to think of taking the torso to the back leg and then you're perfectly on your leg. And then finally, that hand flicking. Not too much, but you want that feeling. You want the arms to get there and go around. Because if you're starting to go around and the arms haven't established anything, it's going to throw you off. You need the arm to get there so you can finish. Lastly, don't forget about this leg. The foot that pushes off, whether it's an ande or a fifth parallel, this leg, the back leg that's coming up to the position, has to give you some momentum, right? Don't rely on this on the supporting leg. You have to rely on both legs. So it gives you some push to get around rather than just hauling it up there with the supporting leg. Okay, so really use that foot pushing around slightly forward, but think of taking your balance, your forward, but you're balancing in between your legs. Okay, I hope this helps you. Let me know what other turns you want to work on or any other steps. I love this technique tip series. I think it's really helping you all, so I'm happy to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you Friday. If you missed my latest Q&A, you can click it to watch. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me know what to film for all of you. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.